Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's breakfast time. I thought I'd switch it up on you. Come and have breakfast with you. I want to thank all my subscribers, old and new. I love you guys. And to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I've got that homemade steak sauce, ketchup, and Worcestershire sauce. I have a Philly cheese steak omelet. I'm going to dress it up with a little bit of this steak sauce. It's got leftover steak from the other day and it has peppers onions mushrooms and a bunch of cheese and some banana peppers <sighs> yeah and it's hot it's piping hot mmm mmm Mm. Mm. And it's good. I just got back from the gym, took a shower, and I'm still burning up. Mmm. Hot. Oh. These peppers are hot too. Black hazelnut coffee. I'm trying to find you a cheese pole. There it is. There's the cheese pull I was looking for. Mm. If you want to know how to make an omelet, fold one. I'll show you right on my cooking blog. Link in the description box under the cooking blog. Shows you how to make and fold an omelet. You can stuff it with whatever you like. That's why I don't list every omelet recipe. Put in it whatever you want. The main part is... Folding it and get it put together. <laughs> That's the main part. Mm-hmm. Mm. I use mozzarella. Colby Jack and Monterey Jack. I shaved 500 calories from my diet. Again, every time I hit a plateau, I shave off some calories. This time I'm shaving off 500. The first time I did the calorie shave was when I quit drinking. I'm losing weight, but I want to lose it a little bit faster. I'm averaging about, I don't know, maybe three or four pounds a month. That's fairly slow.
you can safely take off 12 pounds a month which would be about three pounds a week I don't want to do three pounds three to four pounds a month I want to do three or four pounds a week that's how I lost weight the first time it was coming off three or four pounds a week Where it only took me a year to lose 60 pounds. Now, it's taken me a year and a half to lose 24 pounds. I don't like it. So, week number 17 of no alcohol will come be coming up on Monday. This coming Monday. <clears throat> week number 17. I can't even believe it. Mm. I have a sweatshirt from my favorite beer company, Great Lakes, that I bought three years ago. I didn't try it on before I left Cleveland. The beer, I went on a brewery tour. And before I left Cleveland, I just bought it and didn't try it on. When I got home, I put it on. It was tight. I could have worn it, but it looked like it was painted on. I hate t-shirts. I, I hate sweatshirts, rather, that fit tight. I like my sweatshirts loose and bulky. So, that was in 2019. It's been hanging in my cupboard three years. So the other day I decided to get it out and try it on. It's loose and bulky, <laughs> just like I like it. But I said all that to say, now that it has the name of my favorite brewery on it, I'm not even drinking anymore. <laughs> So, but I still love the sweatshirt. Um, like I said, when I hit, when I get to like 194, I'm probably going to have a celebratory beer. No doubt. I'm going to treat myself to it. Because that will be my 30 pound weight loss mark. And it's halfway of where I'm trying to go. So. I think I'll do that. But. Um, the reason I'm in a hurry. Where I want to get it off at like three to four pounds a week. Is because. In the spring, probably around mid-May, I want to go in and get my knees replaced, both of them, at the same time. I asked my doctor if I was crazy for wanting to do that, and he says, no, a lot more people are leaning that direction now. He said, in fact, he recommends it because if you need both knees replaced, rehab takes a while. It's like two weeks that you got to be in a nursing facility or rehab facility. And then about another three or four weeks to heal completely. So... That's like a total of six, seven weeks. Or, no, five, six weeks. Something like that. And if you do one, and you know you need the other one done, you're going to have to go through all that same whole process all over again. You know, the anesthesia, the, the surgery, the recovery. 
Who wants to do that when you can just do it one time? He said a lot of people that got one done and needed both done, they refused to get the other one done because they didn't want to have to go through that again. And that's where I'm at. I don't want to have to go through that two times because it's going to keep me out of the gym for at least six weeks, maybe four weeks. And I want to be near or at my goal weight when I get this done. I want to be very, very close or on it when I get this done. So that if I happen to gain a few pounds back when I'm laid up, it's not going to be that difficult to get rid of it. Whereas if I do it right now, or this way, and let's say while I'm laid up, I put on 10 pounds. Mom must be right back where I started. I'm not about that. I ain't about that life. <laughs> mm -mm. So, I'm going to ramp up this weight loss. Which means there may be some more days where I won't be doing a mukbang. Um, I'm looking at doing every other day maybe. Because uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a lot of protein shake meals. And I know you guys don't want to see a protein shake meal. <laughs> like dinner today. It's going to be a protein shake. Sometimes I just do it for breakfast. Like on the days that I'm going to do a mukbang for you guys, I'll do the protein shake for breakfast and no breakfast. No no full breakfast. But there's going to be some days that I do a full breakfast, which I can always film that for you. Like today, I'll do a full breakfast and then have a protein shake for dinner. So I'm, I'm going to be doing that, you know, at least here through the holidays because this is the danger zone. You know what I'm talking about. Holidays is a danger zone. I usually make cookies for my family. Um, I usually have my share. <laughs> I usually wipe out about a dozen and a half over the holidays. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of protein shakes with fruit. I'm probably going to start throwing some spinach in them too. Flaxseed, dates, things like that. But I'm not going anywhere, guys. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just tightening it up. And in the long run, it means better health, which I hope that means you guys will have me around a lot longer <laughs> in good health. But yeah, guys, I can't take the knees anymore. I can't. And I've been doing injections for far too long like it's not good to get as much cortisone as I have gotten plus I'm gonna have to start getting injections in my back now too and that's too much it's just too much so <clears throat> I'm gonna get one more cortisone shot for my knees in January and then by the time that wears off, like April would be when it wears off. But I want to get through my birthday first, May 2nd. And right after that, 
you know, depending on what the doctor says, like if I can get, I'm just going to ask him in January, can I schedule the surgery at that point for May? That's what I'm going to do. And whatever day he has available after May 2nd, even if it's May 3rd, I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. So, something to look forward to. <laughs> Brand new knees. I'm excited though because um, anybody out there that has arthritis in their knees right now and you take you go down a set of stairs like Herman Munster. <laughs> knees are like this. <laughs> Your knees are like this. Won't won't bend at the joint, you know. So you're trying to go down the steps like this. Frankenstein or Herman Munster, one of those. It's a sight to be seen. And add the back issue into that. I'm going to be 60 in May. If not for my joints and my back and knees, I would say I feel about 40, maybe even 38. <laughs> That's how I feel, especially mentally. But my body... My body is saying, girl, you're 89. <laughs> That's what my knees and my back are telling me. You're 89. And I'm not going to have it. At least I'll have control over the knee issue. I don't have any control over the back issue. Because it is what it is. But at least I'll be able to bend my legs. This omelet was huge, guys, and I'm getting ready to tap out. It was queen size and packed with vegetables. I cut up a lot of onions and peppers and mushrooms. That's really why it was so thick. I didn't have that much steak left, really. Last bite. But like I said... This is the biggest meal of today. Later, it's going to be a protein shake. And I'll probably have popcorn as a snack later tonight. Mm -hmm. This was good. Mm. And I thank you for joining me for breakfast. It's been real. I'm so full. But, peace out, gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.